Hello there. It's time to talk about OBIEE architecture. The first thing in architecture is the source database. OBIEE can connect to most of the database which can be connected with JDBC or ODBC connection. What you see here is a relational database. It can be a data warehouse. OBIEE can also connect to cube database like SBase cubes. It can connect to files. It can also connect to XML database. That's about source databases. The heart of OBIEE architecture is BI server and OBIEE repository. OBIEE repository is where OBIEE stores the metadata of the source database tables. For example, if OBIEE reports are created out of data warehouse data, then OBIEE repository database contains the metadata of the data warehouse tables. By metadata, it contains the table name, table field type, whether it is number, worker, and also OBIE repository contains the data modeling details like aggregation details, star schema format details, connection pool details, all those things. And the front end tool which directly connects with OBIEE repository database is OBIEE admin tool. This is the tool which is used by OBIEE data modeler to model the data. The tool contains three layers physical layer, business layer, and presentation layer. At the physical layer level, the connection pools are created between the OBIE repository and the source database. And then the data, the metadata is imported from the source database in OBIEE repository database. Next layer in OBIEE admin tool, which is also called RPD, is business layer. It's also called business mapping layer or BMM layer. This is where OBIEE forces you to model your data in star schema format. You cannot go to the next stage unless you model your data in star schema format in business model and mapping layer. After you model your data, the next layer is presentation layer. Presentation layer is what is visible to OBIEE users who are responsible for creating OBIEE components like reports, dashboards, and all those. Based on the requirements, Data Modeler publishes the data elements from business layer to presentation layer. And then OBIEE developers can use those data elements from presentation layer and develop the reports, dashboards, and other components. All these activities, the creation of physical layer, business layer, presentation layer, can be done in offline mode. As long as OBIE admin tool is connected to OBIEE repository, the RPD can be developed in offline mode. And when the RPD is ready, it can be uploaded on BI server in the production box. And then only the presentation layer will be visible in the OBIEE report. BI server architecture is like other fusion middleware components. It has high availability and cluster architecture where you can have more than one machine with application servers installed on it. It contains managed server as well as BI system components. BI system components is where BI publishers and such components are installed. Likewise, managed server contains lot of other components. We will detail on this later. For now, understand that you can have more than one application servers. They can be connected through node managers. All of the servers can be administered through admin server, which can be installed on any of these machines. For example, if you have two machines running application servers, admin server can be installed on any of those machines and that admin server controls both the machines through node manager. Next thing in architecture is access level which contains tools for development and delivery of user accessible objects like 
reports, analysis, and dashboards. Let's talk about BI answers. BI answers is used for ad hoc report and analysis development. The data elements exposed in presentation layer of RPD is visible in BI answers. Using BI answers, OBIEE users can drag and drop those data elements and develop their own reports and analysis. BI answer is very popular among BI developers and users and it is used for ad hoc query as well as developing analysis and dashboards. Once the reports are developed using BI answers, they are stored in catalog. Next well known component is dashboard. Dashboards are like your car dashboards. It has a lot of information in form of pre-built, well aligned, well visualized reports, analysis, metrics on a single page. Each analysis can have features like drill down, actionable links and lot of other things. Next one and very useful tool is agent. Agent is used for OBIEE object scheduling. You can do event based scheduling using agents. In case you are wondering what is event based scheduling. Event based scheduling is when you say alert me if my profit margin goes below 20%. Let's talk about Microsoft Office Interaction. OBIEE has two very useful tools which can help you to port your reports, analysis and dashboards to MS Office tools like Excel. These tools are SmartView and Add-on. Oracle got SmartView from Hyperion. Users have to install SmartView on their computer. Using SmartView, most of the OBIEE reports, analysis and dashboards can be run through Excel. Microsoft Office add-on tool has limited functionalities in comparison with SmartView. MS Office add-on can help you port the OBIEE objects like reports, analysis, dashboards to MS Office tools like Excel. Next very important feature is OBIEE interaction with portal. For example, if your dashboard has 7 reports, all those reports have their own HTTP address. If you have a company portal and you want to show one of those 7 reports on your portal, you just have to consider the hyperlink of that specific report and put it on your portal. How about mobile interaction? OBIEE has a very rich mobile interaction. Oracle has developed apps available on iPhone, iPad and Android devices. Through these apps you can create connection with your on-premise BI and run your reports and dashboards on those apps. That's about OBIEE architecture. Now you know the different artifacts of OBIEE and how they interact. I will see you in next lecture. Awesome.